the least women. Oh, calm down. Now, today marks the award show we all keep an eagle eye on. Yes, it's the Lou of the Year Awards, oh. where public toilets are graded for signage, decor, fixtures and fittings. So with that in mind, let's meet today's posse of toilet attendants. First up, she's been engaged, but she's certainly not vacant. It's Jane McDonald. Yeah. Oh, never mind her Lou. She's the mouth of a sewer. It's Colleen Nolan. <laughs> she's having is a hot one. It's Denise yeah. Welsh. <laughs> and making sure the seat's left down today. It's me, Jackie Brambles. Yeah. Coming up as the Christmas party season begins in earnest, we're asking when does social drinking become a problem? Do you know your cut-off point? And on our guest list today, one woman who's lived a truly remarkable life as a Hollywood star, joins us to share some pearls of wisdom and with news of her latest humanitarian cause, it's Mia Farrow. <laughs> Every little teardrop, oh, we do feel her pain here for a chat and to perform that new song, it's the fabulously feisty Gabrielle. Oh, now girls, what a difference a hairdo makes. Yes, Nancy Delolio has cut off her famous tresses and can now be seen sporting a modern sort of bob look. She said that cutting her long locks of 20 years has proved such a liberating feeling that it's changed her life. So do we think it suits her? Do we like the new look? I really like it, actually. I think she looks gorgeous. Do you? Yeah, I really do. Just down to the haircut alone? I, mean, it's I think the whole, her different style, whoever has styled her for this, has just got it right, you know, with her clothes and, I don't know, she just looks classier. I think it really shows off her, her features more. And the actual style itself, it's not just short, is it? It's a really lovely short style. I think she looks great. It's good, Denise. I absolutely adore it. I mean, I, you know, no disrespect to her, but I did used to think that she did look a bit like a transvestite with the, with the, <laughs> with the hair. And no the offense. No, no offense, Nancy. But, um, but, you know, with the sort of garish clothes and, the, you know, the, the massive tresses of hair, I think she looks absolutely fantastic with it. I think she looks, you know, as you said, she looks chic and stylish. And I just hope that, uh, that, she, that she does keep that stylist with her because I think the whole, the whole image now is fantastic because I do think that hair can age some people if it's, you know. Mm. I know she says she's, I think she's been 42 for 19 years now, hasn't she? <laughs> <laughs> however, Ooh, however. Such a bitch. But I see, I, I liked her old look. I thought the hair was part of her character, and I love the fact, you know, that uh, you know, I, I love the fact that she had this long, striking hair and, and this mane of hair of hers. And, and I think, to me now, she just looks like everybody else. And I think she should have kept that personality well, and like that like hair. You know, I, I loved, I loved her the long hair. I like the long hair. I, I like all the other changes. I mean, I think that, I, you know, I wasn't the biggest fan of her, the, the way that she used to dress. No offence, again. Um, but I think this new stylist, like you said, she looks, she looks chic, doesn't she? She looks modern. I think she does we'll look see younger. What Sven thinks, won't we? But I, I, think, but I like the, I like the longer hair. I like the as older well, version. But, yeah, you like the older version. I love the clothes that she wore then. I you see, I love, great. I love, I love short hair. I mean. My, my, I didn't like it when I was very, very young because my mum insisted on having my hair really short when I wanted it long when mm. I was a little girl and everybody used to say, are you a lad or a lass? Which is like <laughs> horrible when you're seven or eight. <laughs> but, um, but I do like short hair and I had my extensions put in a while ago because I'd had short hair for so many years. And I just felt that I was locked into this short haired look and I couldn't, and especially when I've put a bit of weight on, which I have got at the moment, I just think short hair's not quite as, my ultimate person to look like was Mia Farrow, when she had that beautiful oh, urchin yeah. haircut, when she was look. in films like, oh. like, like, like Rosemary's Baby mm -hmm. and stuff, but uh, sadly that never, um, although I did get mistaken for her outside, didn't I? Yeah. Just now, yeah, 35 yeah. years on. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, Do you think there's a point at which, you know, and am I on ropey ground here, that if you've got longer hair? I wasn't going to mention this, Jackie. <laughs> you know, looking at me with eagle eyes. Is there point at which you will be saying age-wise where it's just time to have a little snap. Yeah, well, I've got quite a bit shorter, remember? It, it has got a bit it's shorter, got a bit shorter yeah. lately, mm, but mm. I don't think there's a certain number, but I do think I will know when it's time to get a little bit shorter. Well, I, I, think, think, if you, completely I think if you don't know, I'll probably tell you. I think you probably will. <laughs> <laughs> Sooner rather than later, yeah. very probably. Yeah. I, had, I had big hair when I was filming the cruise all those years ago. Oh, all those years ago. Can I remember that far back? Can you remember that far back? <laughs> Yes. And I had very curly hair, and I did look like one of the Supremes, I know. But when yes, I went, to, when I had a stylist, you see, it was a stylist again who came in and sort of said, right, you've got to look like this. And they took me to the hairdresser, and the hairdresser said to me, uh, what would you like? I said, I, I wouldn't like it cut short because I like my long hair. 
and he just went, oh, I think we'll change that, and just went whack oh. and cut it so short. And I was mortified, and I felt like Samson. I felt like I'd been deflated. Mm. I hated it, and of course I was in a TV show at that time, so I had to have con continuity. Mm. And I absolutely hated that time when I had short hair. I was really glad when I could leave the show and grow my oh. hair again. You were bigger as well at the time, weren't you? As yeah, well, I'm a fat so. bird, yeah. yeah. Just <laughs> a fat bird. Hey, I sometimes look really attractive. The thing yeah. about long hair as well is that when I, when I first had my extensions in, I knew I did want them cut off ultimately, but I just thought it would be really nice to have a few days of, of the hair really down there. But it was just embarrassing when you sort of were walking along the road and a car approaches behind and goes, Bib, bib! Oh! <laughs> I don't think you're going to be about 19. <laughs> You've got a new new colour, am I wrong? Am I wrong? New colour? New look? Actually, okay. yeah, I've just gone back to my old colour now. This is my colour. Okay. Uh, you look very sultry to me. Do I really look sultry? Okay. You do. Do you, look, what do you think, ladies and gentlemen? Are we liking it? You're liking it? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Well, I kept getting I had highlights put in, but they kept getting lighter and lighter and lighter. And I was thinking, this is Which too grey light. My grey was oh, coming through. like it, darling. <laughs> just told you about my grey eyes. <laughs> Do we like to hear the truth about our hair? Hey. Would you tell me if you thought I needed to cut my hair? No. I'd tell them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Behind my back. <laughs> it's true. I would, really. I would. No, the thing is, Are it's none of my... If you like your hair, that's absolutely fine. It's not my business how you have your hair. I just go... <laughs> <laughs> but I do think there does come a, a point of age where an older woman can look older with lo really long hair you know especially if it's in a really big style or it's bright red or you know whatever it's like if you just had that in a lovely style now you could look 10 years younger you say that to <laughs> <laughs> so you could actually look 42 now <laughs> but would, so you, te would um, you tell your sisters or would you be blunt with anybody about you need a new hair no i think look, the most awful need... thing is when you go to the hairdressers and you walk in and either no one says anything or somebody goes Oh, I don't like it. And mm. you think, oh, I'm stuck with it now. Yeah. I know, when you just had it cut. You know, I, I just they say, oh, it's oh, lovely nice. at the back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or you go, oh, it, it's not, I always go, oh, it's nice. And then next time they have it done, I go, I hated your hair last time. You know, I tell them once it's over and they've grown Do you it like back. Men with long hair? I love men with long hair. Oh, Clearly, that's why I married Tim oh. Healy, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Ray's very, very blunt with me because yeah. he hates my hair um, cur really curly and he hates it if, if, if it's up like in a bun or he can't bear it so he will tell me straight away and one time I got all done up to go to this um, I think it was the Pride of Britain Awards and because of the outfit I was wearing uh, the makeup guy curled all my hair oh, and it you looked, looked fantastic I remember that thanks and it looked really nice and I went back to the hotel and I met Ray and about an hour before we do to leave he went I've put the straighteners on for you <laughs> <laughs> so I spent an hour getting all my curls out what would he have done if you turned up with you know, a big tight bun on your head on the day of your wedding he would have oh no he said to me well he didn't actually say anything about the wedding but I know he hates my hair up and the day of my wedding you know ultimately you're hoping that when you get to the top of the aisle your husband to be looks at and goes wow and I knew if I wore my hair up or if I wore it curly he'd go ew Funnily enough, you did that with your hair down. <laughs> <laughs> We're very feisty today, aren't we? It's time to take a short break. But coming up, we're delighted to say we'll be meeting actress Mia Farrow back soon.